Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about another speculation of mine. Um, and this one I like a ton, but not right now. But I'm just telling you right now that it might not be the worst time to pick him up. And it is my favorite planeswalker, the lost but looking, or not looking, Soren. The Solemn Visitor is very interesting because it's in modern. It's in modern as a free of, a four of, and black white tokens. And it looks good. I mean, I saw the World Cup and there's one of those decks and I saw the deck list and I was like, you know, there's nothing expensive in this deck list minus obviously the Marsh Flats and stuff like that. But there's really nothing that expensive in this deck list and it looks like it works really well. Like Intangible Virtue, Lingling Souls, Spectral Possession. Um, all of these cards are not expensive or they're common or uncommon. The only card that I think could get up in price, and it's I'll explain why he's not as expensive as you know you might expect, given that his modern and standard play is Sorin. Sorin is an incredibly powerful card. Um, I mean, again, if it's powerful enough in modern, it's probably powerful enough in standard, given if a meta changes. And if the meta changes extremely quickly, we're talking about a card that I look at it, I look at it in modern, and I say, wow, this is a real deal. Like this has a deck that wants it, a deck that needs it. Like let me put it this way: if the deck didn't have Sorin, yeah, I could use the old Sorin, but like it wouldn't be a tier one deck. It wouldn't be even played by Magic Pro at the World Championship. Black white tokens looks good. I mean, the bit of blossoms got reprinted. It looks like an inexpensive, a relatively inexpensive deck. All that being said. What is the one card that might go up in price? It might not be. Maybe it's Bitter Blossom, but Sorin, uh, the reason he's so low is because so, so many of him were printed. You know, you got Fat Packs and you got people looking for Fetch Lands that were like $15 to $23. And at the end of the day, like, you got to look at him and you got to ask yourself, why is he $10? He's $10 for the same reason Rhino is like $2 or $3. You say just too many of them will open, too many of them are out in the market, and at the end of the day, like that's a problem if you are really interested in, for lack of a better term, uh, figuring out what to speculate on. And would that problem continue on in the future set when we go to Battle of Zendikar? Maybe not. So a lot of times when cards are very cheap but powerful, like uh, Thunderbreak Dragon, Thunderbreak Regent. I mean, the only concern I have was he was in an event deck. But I'll take, for example, um, one of my favorite cards, Frag Tusk. Frag Tusk was, I hate that card so much because I played the Delver, Blue Red Delver at the time, and that was a card I could not beat. I hated it so much. But wow, it was a beast. Um, and that card, in my opinion, is not as good as Sorin, power level wise. And people will argue about this, but I would say Fractus sees very limited play in standard, uh, in modern. Sorin sees more play. And you might say that's because of the archetype, but I think that's because of the raw power. Just the incredible power. Like, a little, like, when people, when it first came out, it looked identical to Sorin, Lord of Innistrad, right? But the lifelink, I never expected, and I will be the first one to tell you, I never expected a lifelink to be so relevant in a format like modern. But when you have like all these tokens and you're pumping them and they're giving, you're getting lifelink, they can't race you. And your tokens have flyers, they're all flyers. How are they gonna race you? Um, I love the card. I don't love it at this exact moment, but I'm just telling you that like, it's a longer term investment, but it definitely is one that I will consider uh, in the future. I, I love the card. I hate the Planeswalker, by the way, but I love the card. And I love the fact it already has a deck that needs it. Main deck, foil. The deck needs it, otherwise it doesn't operate. So, uh, very interesting speculation, uh, Shorin Solom Visitor. It's a good one. Bye guys.